Welcome to Wake Up American, the daily show by Fluent American, where we just try to help you get in a little bit of pronunciation practice every single day, Monday through Friday of your work week. Happy Friday, by the way. Let me know what you guys have planned for the weekend. I know over here we are, I think it's actually pretty calm. We're going to be doing um, some events related to, to poetry around the city and hanging out with family. So I'd love to hear what you guys are doing too. But for pronunciation purposes, our focus for today is we're going to be working with ordinal numbers. Those are your numbers, for instance, like one, two, three, four. I mean, not one, two, three, four. Those are your cardinal numbers. Ordinal numbers are like first, second, third, fourth, fifth, all of those um, fun ones. So that way we can help you pronounce them a little bit more naturally next time you need to discuss numbers uh in case you're wondering my name is jeff i am your host jeff rhymes with breath which is one of the four key ingredients to a natural sound in american english that unfortunately a lot of teachers don't actually talk about kind of problematic right so placement breath pitch and trying to weaken your constant sounds trying to strengthen your vowels those are the things that we try to do every single pronunciation lesson and as we go through this, I do want to just highlight that there is one problem with doing these streams. It's, it's the fact that I can't actually hear what you're pronouncing. So as we're practicing these, or these, numbers together, yourself, one of the ways that you can do that. So I think we had to quick little thing going on. So if you're interested in get, actually getting feedback on how you're actually pronouncing these things, then I do have good news. The way you can do that is by joining our pronunciation group on Telegram. It looks a little bit like this. Where every single, and they can send in their own audio files and get feedback from me. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in checking out, you can go to fluentamerican.com, sign up for our course. This walks through some of the steps that you will need to Visit take. fluentamerican.com for all of our pronunciation services, including memberships, including our daily telegram program, where you send in files every day and get corrections from us. Mission English, where we meet twice a day in live stream classes, and also our paid video courses so you can start learning right away. We say hello also to Shok, who is joining us today. Good to see you, miss. Okay. So again, we're talking about ordinal numbers. Our first one is going to see. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of a connection issue. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try restarting my computer just to see if it helps. Maybe it needs an update. Um, in the meantime, give me like, I don't know, like two minutes, and I'll be right back. In the meantime, you can check out this video, and then we'll get right back into things. Give me one moment, and I'll be right back. You were probably in school years ago. When... You were probably in school years ago when your nice English teacher taught you to say these words wrong. All contain vowel sounds that consonants can transform into horrible, horrible monsters. We are hunting down consonants, starting with the letter L. Say these words to yourself really quick. Real. Girl. Milk. Roll. Cool. Did you say them like I did? If not, it's because when the letter L comes at the end of a word, you want to make sure of these things. The tip of your tongue is down the back of your tongue is high there is enough air moving through your throat it's like a consonant sound it becomes a vowel sound like uh uh let's try them again then shall we real girl milk raw cool Hear all that breath. Real and cool, by the way, have long vowel sounds. That's important because long vowels, when they connect with the letter L, have a slightly 
different. Sound. Compare. Really. Real. Really. Real. Notice that the long vowel pronounces the vowel sound and then adds in all sound. Here are examples of major long vowels with L's attached. Style. Stale. Steal. Spoil. Stool. Don't get nervous if you hear a D come after the L sound either. Keep your vowel the same in pairs like these. Ball, bald, saw, sold, call, called. Can we do that faster? Ball, bald, saw, sold, call, cold. Ball, bald, saw, sold, call, cold. It's not just the L that's after your English, though. The letter N is horrible at leaving your words in an awful mess to clean up. Loan. Moon. Pain. If you said loan, mooin, or pain, it's a problem. You don't need to add an extra vowel sound before the letter N. It's just loan, moon, pain, loan, loan, moon, mooin, pain, pain. Or maybe this is the problem. How do you say this? If you say Mm, you are raising your placement up here and closing off your throat. Not enough air is making it through. And you might actually be carrying that onto your vowel sound as well. Try to take the sound down and get more air through your throat too. Compare. Mm and mm. Pain. Pain. Loan. Loan. Moon. Moon. But if you found... Hey, thank you all for your patience. I appreciate that. So let's get right into our numbers then. So first number. First. First. The key thing that's happening here is that R sound. What I generally see with students is people over tensing it. So I think it's like fur, fur, fur. I'm very closed off right now. A lot of air making it through. So we want more of it. Er, first. Er, first, er, first. Um, so watch now for that. Um, you can also pronounce it with more of like a held T. It's so like first, first, first. So you either hear first or first. The second one has more of that held T. So the key thing, if you're, again, if you find that difficult, I would just kind of repeat some of that er sound a little bit like er, 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 fur, 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 first, first, first. First, first, first. That's the progression that I personally would do. Number two, second. Second. Now we have two syllables. Your stress is on the first syllable. So that means that what you need to do is you need your first syllable to go a little higher in pitch. You need your second syllable to go a little lower. Okay, so it's more eh, eh. And that second syllable, by the way, I would also treat more like a short I sound. It's more like an eh. Eh, not an uh. Sometimes I get like second, second. I hear some students pronouncing it like that. I personally would pronounce it with more of a short I, more like eh, eh. So instead of saying second, I would say more second. Do you hear the difference there? So I'd use more of a short I. It's like eh, in, second, second. Do you hear how much stronger the, the first syllable is? Like if you say second three times, the part that your listener should hear is that se, se, se. It's like second, second, second. Do you hear that? The end is so weak, right? It's just in, in, in. second, second, second. It's just a note on that. And that's going to be pretty much true, you know, for any multi-syllable word where the stress is on the first syllable. Those other syllables are just going to get so much weaker. Your, your next word here is third. So we get another uh, er sound like we saw on first, this time third. Third starting off with that TH sound. Here's a little trick for you. In case you're not super familiar with our videos, one of the things that I really advocate for with the TH, because I know a lot of people have been taught that to make a TH, you put your tongue in between your teeth, like, but isn't that like really hard to like move around and like link to other sounds? Like I find that very difficult. Uh, maybe you're more used to it. <laughs> it's easier for you, but for me, that's really hard. Uh, so what I find to be much, much easier is to have the tip of my tongue 
that's tip my tongue either pressing my top front tooth up here it's like third 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 seems to hit my tongue up here notice that my tongue never passes my teeth right third 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 or i can do it against my bottom front tooth third 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 do you hear again third 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 okay either of those can work i personally like the lower positions more because i think that it allows more air to pass through but you know by all means do what is, is best for you our next one fourth fourth a lot of times people see that r and they see that th and they freak out They're like oh my gosh it's gonna be so difficult but you're missing the key part. The key part isn't the R and the TH. The key part is the O sound, the O sound right before the R. So like, oh, oh, oh. If we can't pronounce that part right, then the whole word's going to fall apart. It's going to tense up. Like we do, oh, oh, oh. Um, or the oh, oh, oh. You know, if you're tensing up too much, that, that's a, a problem. So I would practice just doing O sound. Oh, oh. Make sure you're not doing oh, oh, oh. You see how my lips push forward? Oh. We're not trying to do that. You want your lips to be much kind of more back so I, oh, oh, oh so again comparing those two things hello to emmanuel good to see you so again oh then we can add an r sound after that so oh, oh, oh or, or or hear the difference oh 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 or 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 oh, 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 or, 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 or and then we can add the th in the rest of the words so like or 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 fourth 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 see how weak the th is it's not about the th it's about the o sound and the or sound it's like fourth 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 that again is with the tip of my tongue down against my bottom front tooth like we talked about for third you could also have the tip of your tongue at your top front tooth fourth 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 that's with my tongue high fourth 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 that's with my tongue down next one fifth fifth now we're starting to get into some tricky consonant clusters so we have that f sound that's followed by that th and I'll be honest, we need to pronounce both of them. We can't just do an F, okay? Um, it's not going to give you quite the, most, the clearest sound. So we need to go from an F, like to a TH. That's with my tongue high, or I can do a TH with my tongue down. So again, F, and then a TH. It's like, okay, so let me change the angle so you can see that um, as well from this side. So again, F, and again, to make that F, it's your top tooth against your lower lip, kind of like, you didn't know you are getting some lip action today, did you? You're right around there. So lower, top tooth on that lower lip, it's like, and then, so you can see your lip kind of does that movement a little bit as you transition from that F to that TH. Once you get comfortable with that, the the real key sound is going to be that short i sound so it's not e it's eh eh might be helpful to bite <laughs> don't bite too hard bite the the sides of your tongue and drop the the very back of your tongue so again more eh eh it's like eh fe eh fe and then we do that consonant cluster fe eh fe fifth eh fe fifth Kind of a similar idea for our next one. We get another consonant cluster. This time, instead of fe, we're going to do se, e. So again, we need to get the short eye once more. Bite your tongue gently. It's like e, se, e, se. This time, it's almost like we have three consonant sounds that are going to link together because an X in this case is going to make like a k, k, almost like the letters K and S put together. K, k. And then we need to slide into that th. Okay, so this is why. Again, those middle tongue positions for TH are just not very helpful for situations like this. So what we want to do is we want to take the tip of our tongue and slide it a little high. So it's going to sound like an S to a TH, which sounds like Do you hear two distinct sounds? There's the and then there's the Okay, so that's the sound that we really need to get here. You hear the K S, and then you hear the TH. And then we add the short I sound, X, X. And then we add the, uh, the S. Six, 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 six. 
not necessarily the smoothest <laughs> sound to make, but that's the general idea there in terms of the kind of sense that you want to get. Uh, first one, seventh. Seventh. This is, again, a situation where sometimes I see students pronouncing more of a schwa sound on the second syllable, more like unth, unth. I would personally recommend more of a short I sound, so more nth, nth. So nth, seventh. Regardless, the first syllable is still your stress. So you need to make sure that that S sound is strong enough. E, se, seventh. 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 This is, again, a lower tongue position for that NTH site. Nth, nth, nth. That's just the tip of my tongue pressing against my bottom front tooth the entire time. It's not really moving. Nth, nth, nth. Okay. Seventh. Next one, eighth. Eighth. For this case, again, we get that TH at the end. The key thing is going to be the, the vowel sound, as always. So we want to make sure we're saying an A, right? A, A, A. In general, you want lots of air moving through. A, A, A. It can be helpful to raise the front of your tongue, but it's not necessary to do that. Um, the middle of your tongue is going to be a little high. And then the very back of your tongue will be down. It's like A, 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 A. The big thing here is that there is a good chance that your first language has a similar vowel sound, similar diphthong. But the one difference that may occur is that in your language, it may tense up a little bit and it may separate into two distinct sounds like A, 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 versus American English, which doesn't really do that. It tries to treat diphthongs almost like a single sound. So it's a lot more like A, A, A. Okay, so like A, 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 A. Our next word here. Ninth, ninth, just like we saw with seventh. This is again with the tip of my tongue against my bottom front tooth. Ninth, ninth, okay. Uh, and this is another diphthong as well. This is your I sound. So instead of A, 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 now we have I, I, I. And again, your language may have this, but it might over tense at the end. So like I, I, I versus I, I, I. So see how my lower jaw just kind of hangs there the entire time. I, I, I. I, 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 yes, I, 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 you know, getting yourself like a jaw workout. That's not our goal. Just kind of letting our jaw hang there. I, 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 if you're saying N, N, what that means is your placement's really, really high. N, you want N, 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 tenth, N, tenth, N, tenth, N, tenth. That's again with the tip of my tongue pressed against the bottom of my mouth. You might be seeing a pattern here. Um, N, to my tongue down here again. N, N, N. See how you don't even see, you don't see the tip of my tongue curl up. It's not N. You see that movement? And no, that's too much movement. It says N, 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 tenth, 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 because it's all about that vowel. That lower tongue position can just help open things up. Now, the only problem, like I mentioned earlier, guys, is I don't know what you sound like. I have no idea. I tried to give you the best tips I can as quickly as possible. But I just don't know if you're doing it right. So if you are the type of person that wants feedback on your pronunciation, you want to know if you're actually doing it in a way that sounds natural, that's what our Telegram group is for. So you can find it at fluentamerican.com. And basically in our Telegram group, we use these same words. These words I give you, these are words that I have given to my Telegram group. And all the members can send in their audio files and get feedback. You can see all those white files. Those are files that people have sent me to take a look at. So I listen to them, and then I tell you, like, hey, I think your tongue's too high. Oh, I think you, your placement's uh, not in the right spot. You're, you don't have enough breath. Things like that. We need to weaken a syllable. So that is basically how we can take our pronunciation to the next level. Because, I mean, hey, these streams are great, but it would be even more impactful um, if we can actually start incorporating some feedback into things, right? So if that sounds like something you're interested in, here are the steps. For all of our pronunciation services, including memberships, including our daily Telegram program, where you send in files every day and get corrections from us, 
Mission English, where we meet twice a day in live stream classes, and also our paid video courses so you can start learning right away. So again, fluentamerican.com, you can sign up for our Telegram group on our homepage. The other thing I will say is, I don't actually remember. Oh, well, I do have, it's not what I wanted to remember, but I will say we are going to be back here actually doing another live stream. So if you want even more English practice today, happy Friday. We're going to be back in right around an hour, um, 9.30 um, in the morning, New York time. And we're going to be holding a live Mission English class. Mission English is our program where we do live streams multiple times a day for 30 minutes. This is the schedule that we follow. So you'll see that on Friday at 9.30 a.m., we have a class. We also have a class at 1.30 p.m. too as well. Um, so all of these times we meet um, in our Mission English group. It's a private Facebook group where every day we do uh, two live streams. Monday through Friday, and then we have some writing sessions as well. So if you want to get an idea of what our group class is like, or you just want some more pronunciation practice with us, cool. Stay tuned. We'll be back in about uh, an hour or so. Okay. But if this is my last time seeing you today, well, thanks for spending a little bit of your morning or day with us. My name is Jeff once more. It runs a breath, which is one of the four keys to an American accent. I will see you guys very soon. Have a good day. Have a good night. Good afternoon.